Ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com with the Forex Quick Look at the Aussie versus U.S. dollar. So let's get started. Taking a look at the uh, four-hour chart of this uh, currency pair, we have uh, seen uh, a, a sharp move to the downside, a real trend-like move to the downside here in this uh, currency pair since uh, a initial rally on Monday took the price up to uh, this level 0 0.6706. And since then, it's been down, 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 all the way down to near low of uh, 0 0.65229. That level happens to correspond uh, roughly with uh, a swing area. That swing area defined uh, was initially defined by a high right here. It pushed lower. We moved above and below it here, but then uh, fell away from it here. And then we moved above it through here. That when we returned back to that area, we did find support buyers right against that level before moving to the upside. And again, we moved back down and we tested that level where it again right here before breaking all the way to the highs for 2023. Since then, uh, we've been... Uh, we moved uh, lower in uh, December and into January, the sideways period, and now uh, uh, at the, uh, in trading last week before moving uh, sharply to the downside again, trending lower here today. And we've moved back to test that level at the 0 0.65229, also near near this level, uh, is the rising 100-day moving average at 0 0.6509, two key levels on the downside to get to and through if the sellers are to take more control. But right now, the buyers are leaning against that, uh, le that target and uh, pushing the price a little bit to the upside currently trading at 0 0.65326, so it's not like it's running to the upside. What would uh, hurt the uh, bearish bias in this currency pair would be a move back above this swing area. This swing area comes between 0 0.6541 and 0 0.6565. Le level uh, corresponds with different uh, swing lows and swing highs uh, through this period right here. It got a little messy, but a uh, number of different times the price uh, came down to that area, especially through here, found uh, created the floor before moving to the upside. So getting back above that level would probably take some of the steam out of the downside for this care, uh, pair absent. Uh, and then a move above that level, the 50% and 100 day moving average would come into play. Uh, and obviously if it would move, move back above the 50% and then uh, not the 100, but the 200 day moving average would increase, uh, increase the bullish bias and likely lead to more upside momentum in the Aussie versus US dollar. So sellers remain in control. Uh, stay below the 0 0.6550 level uh, is the best case scenario for the uh, uh, risk and for the bias for those sellers. But we do need to get below the 0 0.65229 level and then the 100-day moving average at 0 0.6509. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.